Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates and I'm here with a project share. I hope you all are well. It's been a little while. I had a whole bunch of pottery that I had to create and sell for our annual sale and it kept me really busy. And then my goal was to get all my Christmas decorations up so I've been keeping myself busy these last few days but I've also had a chance to do a little crafting because I want to include some of this in my home decorations. So I made um, bunting flags, which has become one of my really favorite things to create. And I like to do um, fabric and paper for the flags. So I have a vintage shabby chic one that I want to show you. And it's done in mostly um, tans and tea dyed cream colors. And I apologize that I won't be able to get it all in frame, but I'll, I can show you one flag at a time. And maybe I should turn it this way. Yeah, I'll turn it this way. And we'll start this way. So I made them with lots of cream colored, egg crude, coffee dyed, tea dyed laces, and did just lots of layering and I saw a beautiful um, eyelet lace trim one. I think in England they call it embroidery anglaise, but Sh Siobhan did one with beautiful, um, some trim in one of her journals, and so did Char Fisher. I know she's not from England, she's from, I think, Australia, but anyway, I loved how they got the, the, the lace so shabby and com almost grungy looking. Now, what happened was I accidentally started from the wrong end and I ran out so I had to merge the two and maybe I didn't even need to tell you that when it's hanging up from a distance you can't really tell but just from this side down these are the different flags I created and I just did a lot of layering and collaging and I even did for the first time a little bit of the corrugated cardboard um, and it's a little clock face. I've been having trouble with my images not printing very clearly. I think it's also because this was tea dyed paper. It didn't get as vibrant or vivid. Anyway, I clustered satin ribbon roses and lots of vintage trim, strand of uh, pearls there and then this one is everything I create if you know me um, always has something to do with the enchanted forest or the forest and I hope you can see I have a little um, silhouette of a deer I inked it a little bit so that he could show up but I kind of like that he's almost phantom like because it draws you in and makes you look a little closer and then I just added some of the vining trim just to give it sort of a foresty feel. And this ribbon is really pretty. It's like a damask gold on green. And so I pulled out the gold colors and then put vintage wallpaper scraps. And then I don't know if you can see on this end, this is just some real fibrous kind of mesh, I'm going to call it. Anyway, I just put a little bit of that on for some natural element. And then I love this image. I use this one at Christmas a lot. Just these sweet little angels with their little curly um, twists on their heads. And she's putting the halo on. Hopefully that's her little sister. Uh, but so cute. I love that image. And then I just put a pretty little... Uh, floral applique and this again has some of the corrugated cardboard and this one's just kind of tattered and shabby. Um, I laced some of the actual vintage wallpaper through the vintage lace and then I put gold wired, uh, it's almost like thread, 
through the buttons. So I wanted it to be kind of vintage but have a little gold shimmer to it. To me that's Christmas. Has a little bit of shine. And then the next one is this one, which I actually used some red. I don't normally use red, um, but it's Christmas, and I do love the traditional colors of Christmas. So at first I didn't have any red, but I was using this really pretty vintage um, scrapbook paper. And so before it was all said and done, I've, I popped in a few red flat backs um, here and there. And I love this ribbon. I can't remember who gifted me this but it is just so pretty this lace here so I made a bow and then these are my tea dyed vintage paper doilies that are just kind of a swag at the top and these die cuts were gifted to me from the lovely Shaz and Shaz has a new YouTube channel crafted seasons with Shaz I think anyway that's another subject we should talk about at some point I don't know about all the new YouTube things, but it sure has caused a lot of people to leave. And that's so sad to me, but I do understand the concerns. Anyway, this is trimmed in some really pretty vintage trim. You know, I just noticed I was trying to vary them, but this one has the same trim as this one. Oh, well, I guess that's okay because it's a decoration for my house. Um, but anyway, I love this one. It says, Happy Christmas. Thank you, Shaz, for sending me those a while ago. I have been using them. And then they all kind of repeat. So if you can tell, this one, I made five different ones. And then when I got through the fifth one, I started that same design over again. It's just a different image. So I used, again, music note paper, graph paper, advertisement paper, and I layered snowflakes because it's an outdoor picture, and I'm not sure what he's carrying, or she, I can't tell which. But anyway, I just made this one kind of vintage and shabby and, and fun. A little rayon seam binding there at the top. And then the clock image is, is uh, repeated, it's just a different image. Again with some eyelash trim, satin ribbon roses. I cut this really old vintage doily and then put some flat backs. So, but this paper came in a paper pack that I got from, I think, AliExpress. And unfortunately, it only had one sheet, but I absolutely love that print. But I haven't officially used it up on this. That's what it's for. And then I, I repeated the, the Enchanted Forest one. And there's the image of the deer. And then there's the repeat of my vintage little girl. Just a different image. And it says a Christmas prayer. So if you can see, these two were created along the same lines. And then the last one is again another one with the um, red accents. And I do love how that lace made it look real shabby and, and vintage. And this is... Um, this is actually a flower that was gifted to me from Debbie Vignola when I won her prize. These were in the package, I believe. Anyway, thank you, Debbie. I love all of those things. And I'm actually going to do bunting flags with the pink Christmas things that she uh, gifted me. And in this one, again, says Happy Christmas. So I just wanted to show you what I've been having a lot of fun creating lately. And they are bunting flags. If you're interested, I thought I would do a little craft and chat um, and come back on and create some bunting flags with you. So that will be my next video. 
if anyone wants to join in on the fun. I'm going to spend a little time uh, crafting some more bunting flags. And I thought I'd invite you to join me. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you like these. Um, feel free to comment. And have a wonderful holiday season. I'll talk to you again soon.